Empire Outlets in New York City, many might refer to as Staten Island Outlet because it is located on Staten Island. And Empire Outlets began its construction in, believe it or not, 2015. It took four years for the complex to open in May 15 of 2019. The idea was to have a hundred stores but there's only about 70 stores that actually have space for it. The Empire Outlets are located at the St. George Terminal, which is known as the Staten Island Ferry. And the train is there, and the bus hub is there. It's all right there. This facility is 350,000 square feet, and it's the first outlet mall in the entire New York City. The Staten Island Outlet, as you walk through, has three and a half acres of an outdoor space and it even has a staircase leading to a green roof. There's 1,200 spaces underground for a parking lot and there's 22 escalators and 21 elevators. Let me give you a little bit of history on the Empire Outlets, okay? So the original opening date of the Empire Outlets was to be the fall of 2017. However, there were several delays and I'm not gonna get into this. It looked like it was a great idea to open such a large outlet mall on Staten Island. That would have bring hundreds of thousands of visitors to the mall and international tourists that were to make up about two thirds of spending in Empire Outlets. This would have turned into increased international spending on Staten Island by almost like 50%. A 600 seat beer garden and a food market operating in this location was expected to open and that would have increased visitations to the Empire Outlets. They would open in 2020, but unfortunately that never happened. As a Staten Island resident myself and a local realtor, I have just recently in the past week decided to take another visit and check things out at the Empire Outlet. And I filmed all of it and I'm taking you right with me on the walk. What you will notice walking through is the beautiful views of New York City, the beautiful views of the Staten Island Ferry, the beautiful boardwalk. The sad part that I have experienced walking through is the number of stores that have closed or never even opened. I was very pleased and surprised to see the great dining options that are available at the Staten Island outlets. Mostly they're all located on the fourth floor. I didn't go there. Empire Outlets hosts Field Cafe, Hagen Daz, Kung Fu Tea, Marketplace, Nacho Mama, Nori Sushi, Shake Shack, and Starbucks, of course. Wasabi Japanese Hibachi Steakhouse, and a Wetzel Pretzel. I actually plan to dine in each one of these restaurants and post videos about the food, about my experience, and do I give it a yay or a nay? But what I'm sharing with you today is my sadness that such an amazing project with such promising future was never really able to get off the ground because Shortly after its grand opening and shortly after stores started to move in and make home, actually some never got to move in, we were hit with the COVID pandemic. I hope that this will video entice you to come visit the Empire Outlets to enjoy its views, to enjoy its boardwalk, its beauty, and hopefully together we can bring action into the Empire Outlets of New York City. Thank you so much for watching and walking with me, checking the Staten Island outlets, and I will see you on my next video.